Welcome back to Authors. Today we're going to do a slightly different type of cover review. We're going to start with a TikTok post because it's a video. We're going to start with TikTok video. While we're waiting for that, I can tell you I'm Jeevani Charika. I write rom-coms and women's fiction and I have this channel where I do t Canva tips for authors tutorials to help you use Canva better for your book marketing. If you are an author who would like to talk to other authors about how to use Canva, come and join the free Facebook group. The link is in the description. Okay, right. So we've opened up a TikTok video and I'm going to make a little cover reveal for my book, The Winner Bakes It All. Now that's already had its cover reveal. So this is just a, a fun thing that I'm doing. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to get a background, which is cupcakes to keep in the theme of the book. And then I'm going to use an app called Frame Maker, which lets you make custom frames. It's rather cool. Okay, so there's Frame Maker. Um, what you can do is you start off with a triangle frame, but you can distort it however you want. Yeah. You can make this grid behind more complicated. So at the moment there's 14 columns, but you can increase the number of columns which will make it more complicated. And then you can add as many nodes as you need. So you double click, it adds a node, double click, adds another one, double click, adds another one. So, you know, lots of fun things that you can do. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one that's been already made. I'm going to use a hexagon, octagon. Let's use the octagon. Okay. I'm going to add that to the design, right? So this is our first page here and we are going to make it, let's duplicate it. See if we just see if we can get two abreast. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now what we're going to do, this is the tricky bit because it's quite hard to see what you're doing. So I'm going to go and get my cover. Okay. I'm just going to put that there so that I can find it. Right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back and get this cakes images again, image again. Now we're going to double click on it. We're going to double click on it. And then we're going to expand this image until it matches up with the background image. Need to go up there as well. Okay, let's have a look. And then we would move it around until it fits. Now that's not quite the same size. You can tell when it's right because your eyes stop hurting. Still hurting my eyes. That's almost there. There. There we go. Now you've got a frame in here. But you can't really see it because it matches the background. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that and move it and snap it next to it. Do that again. Oh, actually, no. Right. We double click on it. Now we've got the size right. We just need it to line up again. So let's move it along a bit. And that looks about right. Yep. Okay. Do that again. Select them. Duplicate them. Snap. See, now you can see when it doesn't line up, you can see that there is a frame. And then do the same again. Lift it up, line it up. And we're going to do this another time so that you end up with six hexagons all blended smoothly into the background. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to come okay. back. So we've got these six frames in here now, and they're all seamlessly blended into the background. So next we are going to get my book cover. The winner bakes it all. Oh, actually, first of all, we're going to duplicate this page. So this is page two, right? We're going to 
and we're going to drop it into one of these hexagons and then we're going to double click on it and make it as big as we possibly can without losing the frame okay then we're going to duplicate this again and we're going to drop it into a different place maybe there and again line it up make it as big as we can now hopefully these will all line up properly duplicate again different place again so where have we got top right left bottom right okay so let's go for there It's just lining it up with the top of the frame. Oh, this is tricky. Now this is not going to line up, is it? Okay. So in order to make this possible, we need to bring these down to here. Let's go File, Settings, Show Rulers and Guides, draw one down to there. Okay. 1812. Okay, so let's draw it down 1812. And 1812. Next time we duplicate it, the line, the guide should still be there. Okay, right, so we'll drag this so that it's sitting on the line there. And we'll drag this one as well. So that it's sitting on the line. Let's make it as wide as the frame and down until it's sitting on the line. Right, well, let's hope that works. Duplicate this again. Where have we not gone to? So we've gone down there, we've gone up here. We haven't gone up here, have we? And duplicate again. And go to down here, which we haven't done yet. So how many have we done? So look, one, two, three, four, five, six. So which one are we missing? Okay, that's the one I'm missing. All right, duplicate again. And that one needs to go there. So now we're going to go into each of these frames and make this as wide as the thing and down until it reaches the line. All right, this is a little bit repetitive, so I will do them all and come back to you. Okay, now they should all be roughly the same size. So let's go and let's make them all one second. Apply to all seven pages. Let's see how that looks. Okay, and then let's select them all. And duplicate them. And then maybe we could mix them up a bit. So da, 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 da. maybe move that one to there. Okay. Now let's have a look. Okay, and what else? Oh yeah, let's get rid of the guide. We could probably make it slightly shorter than, than the 13 seconds, but 
I suppose it doesn't really matter. Let's call it 0.8 seconds and apply to all 13 pages. And then you could potentially find some music to go with it. It's just a different way to tease your book cover before you're about to do your cover reveal. If you found that useful, there are loads more videos on the channel. Go check them out. And do tell all your author friends, because, you know, I'm here to make your book marketing easier. If there is something you would like me to do a video of and show you how to do, let me know. If you are an author who'd like to talk to other authors about how to use Canva better for your book marketing, come and join the free Facebook group. The link is in the description. Thank you for your time.